Is it appropriate to drink green tea in my owl mug with my bird? Good boy. All right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I made my modern kiki dress. So to get started, the first thing we're gonna make is the dress. And I'm gonna be using the Simplicity Pattern 1373 as a base, but instead of making it into a shirt, I'm gonna be making it into a dress. So go ahead and just cut out all of the pattern pieces for the bodice, and go ahead and start to assemble it per the instructions given to you in the pattern. Now I did choose to double line both the front and the back straps because my fabric was rather thin, so here I am just assembling all those pieces. And now for the sleeves. The pattern given to you actually has little cap sleeves, but I wanted to make them longer three-quarter sleeves to match the style of Kiki's dress, so I just took that pattern and elongated them, and here I am sewing them onto the bodice. Are you ready to come back? Hold on, I'll pick you up in just a second. Hold on. Oh! Now the style of these sleeves don't actually attach to anything on the top, it's actually raw against your shoulders, so don't forget to hem both the top and the bottom of the sleeves. Now to make this shirt pattern into a skirt, I pretty much took the pattern for the bottom section of the shirt and just elongated it to make it longer. And this really pretty star fabric is going to be the petticoat, so I cut the same piece out of that as well. And instead of using darts, which is what the pattern suggests, I'm just going to be gathering the back of this dress. And now onto the petticoat, I just made a very simple little ruffle. So I cut about three inch strips of my star fabric, I gathered them all, and then I just sewed them on the bottom layer of that skirt. I also added a small piece of elastic to the back portion of the skirt just so it would keep up on my back. Once the elastic was in place, I pinned the top of the bodice to the skirt and since again my bodice was double layered, I folded the raw edges in and slid the skirt in between those and sewed them shut. And on the one side, I added a little zipper to the bottom skirt section so I could take it on and off easily. And once it was all sewn together, I hung it up on a mannequin and trimmed the petticoat to line up with the hem of the dress. And here it is all completed. You can see it is very full and it flares out when I spin. The skirt hangs just below my knees, which is a perfect length for flying on a broomstick. And because the blue fabric is slightly sheer, you can actually see the sparkle of the star petticoat through it. And lastly, to secure the back straps, I just hand sewed some hook and eyes onto the sides. And now, onto the bow. So the bow measures three and a half inches by six inches, and it's two pieces of a red silk sewn together, then turned inside out. And what I did was I just gathered it up by hand, and I have this little strip that I pre-made for the front. I'm just wrapping it around it and hot gluing it into place. After the bow itself was made, I just hand sewed it to an old hairband and you're ready to go. What is a witch without her broom? The handle of the broom is a bamboo stick that I bought from Michaels and all of the other twigs were from a bouquet that I also purchased at Michaels, but I cut them in half. So using hot glue and working very slowly, I took these straight sticks and I glued them about three inches from the bottom of the broomstick. After that layer was complete, I moved about three inches up and started gluing the more decorative and swirly sticks around that. And because you're doing this layer on top of that other layer, it's actually going to make the broom fan out more and become more of a triangle instead of just a straight stick. Now the majority of the broom is done, I am just sticking in these last decorative pieces that came in my bouquet. Finally, to finish it off and to hide that line of hot glue, I am taping just some straw around the broom and tying it into a bow and securing it with hot glue. And now you have a broom that is a little more fancy to match your modern witch. So I'm really excited about this. It's super comfy and this is going to be probably my new favorite comfy costume that I probably wear on like Sundays of a convention, but it's so cute. Cute. I love that it still has all of the classic style of Kiki, but just in a little more modern of a dress. So thank you for watching my tutorial, and I hope you picked up some tips or techniques to help you with your costume. 
As always, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Your cage isn't there. I took it down so I could film. I know, we're just lost right now, aren't we? The bird got scared of my broom. I know my wig hasn't come in the mail yet, so I'm just stuck with my normal pink and brown hair. <laughs>